Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Box. Ooh, it's good to be back. Um, it's good to be back. So I wanted to get into this. Terrence Crawford tells us um, what the uh, best fight of his career was. And uh, it's a little embarrassing. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day. Um, eight to ten minutes a day. Uh, I'm losing my brain. Uh, for the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. Um, let me get into. Uh, oh, and uh, yeah, let me get into today's show. So, Terrence Crawford said the greatest fight of my career was against Ricky Burns. The greatest fight of my career was against Ricky Burns. It's fine. Okay. I just want to put this in, in, in perspective. So, Ricky Burns fought Crawford in uh, March of 2014. It's almost it's nine years ago, nine and a half years ago. Prior to that, Terrence Crawford, uh, Ricky Burns fought to a draw with uh, Raymond Beltran. Beltran got robbed in that position. Everyone thought Beltran beat him. Right after that, he lost to uh, Dijon. I, I, it's in. It's Latichinen. I got it right this time. It's Latichinen. They got that Mikey Garcia knocked out in like two rounds. That's Ricky Burns. I, Ricky Burns is a good fighter. Okay? I'm not degrading it. Uh, uh, that was in 2014. In 2015, he he got dominated by Omar Figueroa, who had badly missed weight and was mentally checked out. Ricky Burns' claim to fame is beating Kevin Mitchell. He's got a win over Moses, Moses Paulus and Michael Casitas. That was his run. It was in 2011 and 2012. The, the best win of note was Kevin Mitchell. He's a good fighter. If you're Terrence Crawford and you have the talent, the skills, the athleticism, the power, the ability to be one of the great fighters of all time, and your best win is Ricky Burns, which you might be right. This may be his best win. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I don't understand this at all. If you're Terrence Crawford, right, like 99.9% of world champions don't have world champions don't have the ability that Terrence Crawford has. Don't you want to test yourself? Don't you want to see how great you are? Don't tell me these fights couldn't get made. Because once Sean Porter said he wanted to fight you, that fight got made without going to purse bitch. It got made on the spot. You could have made fights with Keith Thurman, right? You could have made a fight with Manny Pacquiao. You didn't want to. Your best win is Ricky Burns, according to you. This is embarrassing, man. Like, for a guy with your ability, how, how does it? How do you let it get to that? Your best win was Ricky Burns almost 10 years ago. You're 39 and 0, 30 knockouts. You've knocked out, I don't even know how many fighters in a row. The last time you didn't knock someone out was Victor Postal in 2016. It's the last time you didn't knock. Now, you don't fight all that often, but you have all-time great ability. All-time great ability. You could have been one of the best fighters ever. You could be on that list with Sugar Ray, Roberto Duran, Chavez. You could have been that dude.
And your best win, you're 35 years old. Your best win was nine years ago against Ricky Burns. Like, you say that like you're proud of it. Why didn't you fight Keith Thurman? Why didn't you fight Spence earlier? Why didn't you fight Danny Garcia? Why didn't you fight any of these guys? Got a win over Gamboa and a win over Porter. I would say Porter's your best win. Gamboa was too small, and then Ricky Burns is probably your next best win. Postal, maybe. How good is Postal, though? Everyone beats Postal. It's nothing more special. But look, it's not a bad resume. It's not. Like I said the same thing about Triple G. It's not a terrible resume. Like if, if we were looking at world champions, and I said his resume is um, Sean Porter, uh, Ndongo, Victor Postal, Thomas Delorme, Raymond Beltran, Gamboa, and Ricky Burns. That's his resume. You would say that's not a bad resume. But when you're talking about a guy with his ability, who should have carried the division, who should have been the face of the sport, who had all the talent and skill to be one of the best ever, and that's your resume, you're an embarrassment. Why don't you fight anybody good? Like, that's your resume. That's your legacy. And, and don't tell me you're rich, because if you would have fought better fighters, you'd be way richer. Now you're getting 30% of Errol Spence. Is Errol Spence better than you? Probably not. But he fought people. You didn't. And don't tell me they couldn't get made. Because as soon as you wanted to fight Sean Porter, it got made. It's embarrassing to say this. My best win is Ricky Burns. We were all fans of you. We, we used to all defend you. But this is like, these are the fights you make? I don't even know how to respond to that. Like, this is your resume, bro. This is your legacy. When it's all said and done, they ain't going to be talking about you. Right? I remember listening to Spencer Dinway, the basketball player, saying, if you're not a top five guy, they ain't talking about you. Right? Like, who do they talk about? You know, the cultural impact that Iverson had, uh, the way Steph changed the game, Kobe, Michael, and Bron. Like, that's who they talk about. You could have been one that they talked about, but they ain't going to talk about you because you didn't fight nobody. Instead of fighting the best, you said, let me fight David Avenisian. Let me fight Cal Brook and Mean Machine and Amir Khan. You didn't want to test yourself. You could have fought Mikey Garcia at 140. You didn't want to do it. But you, these are fights you could have won. But you didn't want to test yourself. You could have made more money, too. I don't mind your pocket. I don't care what you made. But you can't say it's about money when you take these little ridiculous fights and you could have fought big fights for bigger purses. And then you want people to believe that after Spence, if you win, and I say you could win, Spence is susceptible to the right hand. If you fight from the uh, conventional stance, you can nail him with the right hand. I think you can, you can beat him. He's not going to chase you around the ring like Sean Porter, though. So you're telling me, at 35 years old, after you beat Spence, you're going to come back and fight Jamel Charlo? No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, I mean, you're going to go, you know, up to 154, and you're going to fight Brian Perella. So that's what you would do. You're gonna <laughs> you're gonna fight cornflake Lamana. Let's get it on. I'm gonna fight the cornflake. Like uh, your your resume is ridiculous. You're 35 years old. Your best win is nine years ago against Ricky Burns. And these other fights, you could have won. Like I always say, you're the Kawhi Leonard of boxing. Like you're pretty much perfect. Like what can you improve about Kawhi Leonard's basketball game? Not a whole lot. What can you prove about? Uh, Errol Spence's bag? I mean, what, what, what can I improve about Terrence Crawford's bag? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot I can improve. He's going to fight James Metcalf in the UK. Let's do it. But this is who you fight. It's your legacy, man. This is what you wanted to do. 
It's almost over. You're 35 years old. It's almost over. It's almost all said and done. Ricky Burns will be the second best one of your career. That was your call, man. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, Terrence Crawford, best one of his career, Ricky Burns, to this point. Let me know what y'all think. Watch, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing, blogging, all forms, social media. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it is June 28th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.